Move it! Choked to death on three pounds of steel. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. Pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. So, think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains, because they've not got beauty. Isn't that right, lads? Oh, aye. Mutts, all of them. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a channel pole. But this lass is different. Exceptional. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right. Tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. 
When I killed the Toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Met him a while back in White Orchard. At the time, he claimed he dealt in mirrors. Mirrors? Buy one from him that grants your wishes? Something like that. He helped me out of a bind, and now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. He gave me this. A concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a censor, too. No, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Redanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everek. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the censor? We can meet at the entrance.
never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. <laughs> That's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Didn't know you were getting married? <laughs> not mine, silly. My friends. This garland's not for me. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tone was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. What do you want, Geralt? This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Wraiths. Vladimir von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Life and death, fire and blood. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who have departed. 
Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voted fire. Fire and blood, life and death, I summon ye, whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. Die. Kill him, Von Everix. Olgird's blood. Sons, those von Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum, too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Old Geard's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and all geards. I'm here on business. I'm a swiving corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Mentioned you like to enjoy yourself. Well, just so happens that's why I'm here. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Listen, Old Gear gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. 
Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Hmm. Guess I could bring someone here, and you. You could... Mm, borrow their body, just for the night. You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Dunno. One of Olgird's men, maybe? Or a peasant who'd agree to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of some unwashed bandit or dung-eating swineherd. I've a better idea. Oh, no. Not gonna happen. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely, and so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? It's his fault. A pleasure to meet you, my sweet. Whose? His. You know, Holgeard's brother. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm, there's potential in that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life, which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him. His mind. His intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, sugar mama. What say you we leave this dank crypt? There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. 
Don't change the subject, my sweet. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> the Haylofts we shall devastate together. Let's say we were more than friends, once upon a time. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well, but no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Can I help it? that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses. This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Bloody fine mount. Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaradne caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. surface here. Dig their way out.
This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold. Wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in, wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit! Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm. And we must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. Be assured. You'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. <laughs> How intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way. My strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, 
Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgerd and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Look at them papers. Come. Time to... Time to say hello. Why did you make the long journey to be? Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo- uh, This is my friend of yesteryear. Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could- Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a-wasting. Are you, uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, woo scope, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers, but we'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers has gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. A blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumplin. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I will find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The flame gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you, and hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. 
And judging by its house, Demon is a hulk, but beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. A spark spitter's cap if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come, Jap must have lost it running from Demon. Two conclusions then. Our magician is fat and a coward. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground, that sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a ball? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. But I was fleeing a noun. And, but it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp, can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? He... Yes. Good. Then let's be off. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Yes! Bear! There shall be no tricks. We must inform the bride's mother the magician turned coward.
I found your fire liquor, but he gave up the ghost on the way back. Too much vodka. Just my luck to hire a drunk. And Demon, what's with him? He failed to return? No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. The dog's small beer. No fire eating, that's the grief. I grief. No show. Oh no. What can we do? Hmm. I can't help but wonder. Must it be a fire eater who performs? What if instead there was, oh, I don't know, a juggler? Just where would we find a juggler at this hour? But say you did, would that do as a replacement for the fire sniffler? Well, I suppose it might. Then I shall perform. You? First I've heard of a juggling witcher. Today I'm no ordinary witcher. In my youth I had a great many friends among circus folk. They taught me well. I shall gladly save you from your troubles. If that's the case, I'll announce the performance. My first Witcher contract didn't turn out as I'd hoped, and I still had a cracking time. Look, 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 look. Munchkins. I wager none here's ever seen a juggling witcher. Gather round, all, to behold a great wonder. A juggling witcher. The one and only. Look carefully, Shani. Ever seen such deft hands? I would love to show you what else they can do. So, Shani. Was it to your liking? Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. And ask twice, Midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a Midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. You lose, Witcher. Hand over the wager. Everything. Um, perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin! What do we do now? Feel good, losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win, give you the coin! I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him done the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I see he dons the cap and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? <laughs> Agreed. 5% is yours, and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do, and Vladimir von Everak's a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everak. Rogue's long dead, by my reckoning. Exactly. Ha <laughs> ha! 
those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink! We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster until we expire. <laughs> Enchanting partner, Shani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be, yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Oh, the perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all, though none to match your charms. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thinks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. your mind? I have my mind, my heart, for you. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you should keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just next time, don't mind me. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. How I've reeled her in. Now don't fuck this up. 
Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me angry. But don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but... But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Perhaps a bit of thanks is in order. Seems I've snared the little Robin for you. You can shut up now. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I'm surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah. He didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much. He never does anything simply, and certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. to catch a painted pig. Smearing that wet job with blood. Could it get any worse? You do No! Please! No! What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? Me. Uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that cripple out of there! <coughs> Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. You see that, Shani? One big pen. Peasants, learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens. 
But that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favour. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witness such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. How does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still, yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. My sweet. What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how? <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kuvir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Lesky, step away from the barn. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do then? Talk some more? Naturally. We would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fear eat your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty-ass swine. Perfect. Oh. Ah! 
Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shade? Had enough peasant spawn? Thought yourself a match for a Von Everechna. A witcher? Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jack yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Goat, you must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. Your methods... quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. Off we go. from which to survey passing bows. Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Look, mutations don't just turn them barren as a mule. They give them an ass's ears to boot. <laughs> Must have some other horse part hidden in his trousers. to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. are glued. Just when you think you know all the Plowfolk's customs, they surprise you with slippers. So, now the shock's faded. Perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. Damn 
mucky that pond sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silk could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers, and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm-hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like you. I came here to revel, 
enjoy myself, not to discuss my brother. That's good. Olgian probably wouldn't want me to talk to you about him. Olgird was my brother and my friend. Never have there been more loyal comrades than us. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Holger told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Holger visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies, not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Kid was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance? Out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely corporal, then give them a few weeks. And we'll toast the lovely bear with each pair of his sheets. Don't you mind the song, we all sing to be unkind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Christ will hold eternal, bride will best be there. Or she'll make you a corporal in the coming year. What's the groom of the king? He has to do it. Garland, 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 cow. You can get down, down, the cow, the hay. So drink and be merry. Oh, 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 oh,
That really necessary? It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Those dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you, stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me. Your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade, follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. 
rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. spirits. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? Good idea? Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. Something strong never hurt anyone. The question is, will it cheer up? Good idea? Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. into necklaces. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic.
you had to meet Olgird. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured Olgird could wait till morning. Smile, Shani. You remembered I liked the Rowan. Remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. You got me. For how long? A day? Two? Don't get me wrong. It's nice, but you come and go. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. I get it. And yeah, could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today, I'm all yours. Well, in that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. I'm afraid the drinks got into our minstrels. Horribly off-key. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <sighs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. Epidemics long forgotten, sure. But the romantic bits in that adventure? Don't plan to forget those. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop... Your business is booming. Good. I'm relieved to hear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old battleaxe. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. You can call me Da. Oh, thank you, Da. I feel honoured. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. You mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Doubt your mother's that unbending? You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. <laughs> You only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. <laughs> That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. 
It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in their condition. If they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. I wasn't in the mood. Would have resisted, tried to regain control. I think you would have seized the opportunity. I don't need opportunities like that. Oh, and changed your style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Ooh. Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. So, how'd it compare? Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. <laughs> All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Promised you this night. Aim to keep my word. And I aim to be direct. Even more so than Vladimir. Sounds interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. Here's taken. Got a feeling it's about to free up. <clears throat> How did you know? I'm clairvoyant. Practically full. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble. And I swore a solemn oath. First of all, do no harm. <sighs> Row me to the moon. Got a fly to get to the moon. You're dead wrong. <laughs> Look, it's right there, in the middle of the lake. <laughs> what are you doing? What one usually does on the moon.
awake already? For a while now. Did you know you've gained 27 new scars since we last saw each other? Keeping count? Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Shani, wait. Before you go, need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. Long live it. What's all this <laughs> kicking? Heron's got a turn <laughs> mix from time to time. My bala stands on yes, three fish fillings. and bloomers. Good food. All stink so after three you days. <laughs> you do know that. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches are sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish, and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Borsodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. <laughs> 